Hi, this is David. In the last video, I showed you how to create, create an Azure Media Services account and upload a video to that account and store it as an asset and also store that video in the uh, Azure blob storage that's associated with that Azure Media Services account. Now I'm going to show you how to encode that video using the services in Azure Media Services. Now the way that works is if we go down to our assets blade again, we can see there's the asset that we uploaded right here. And if I click on that, see the details of it. And if I click on this, we see that it is here in blob storage. There's just one file there, AMS underscore awesome dot MP4. And this is, this is the file right here, just to remind you. Azure Media Services are fun and awesome. Just a short little video. Um, but what I want to do is to go back to the asset page and add a job to do this encoding. So I'll click on the add job button here to create a job and a job is um, consists of a transform in the job. The transform is essentially the the menu, the steps to do a particular thing and the job is the execution of that transfer. So I'm going to call this transform name um, let's see David video encode. How about that? Encode transform. Let's be as explicit as we can. I like to be really explicit with my names. Makes it easier to find. I could put a description in here. I'll skip that for now. Uh, and you hear the different types of job. I'm going to do encoding for this job. And you notice also I said create new. There's no option to use existing because it knows that there are no existing transforms. But once I create this, I can go back and use it again for another job. So here's the encoding. Um, and for the presets, you see these are the available presets different uh, AAC or adaptive streaming, different types of encoding, different bit rates for encoding. I'm going to do adaptive streaming. That's a really f uh, flexible way of encoding my video, which will encode it in multiple formats. So I'll select that, and that's really nice because I, I, don't, I might not know who is going to use my video. Who wants to view it? They may be viewing it on a phone or on a computer. They may be um, using uh, really high speed internet access or very low speed internet access. They may want to have a smaller uh, experience to, to download that. So let's do that and uh, give it a name and it, it defaults to this David video underscore output but I'll say David video underscore uh, how about adaptive stream if I spell it right something like that. Uh, I'm going to store it in the same storage account. I only have one right here and the job name will be the same as this. I'll call it uh, David Video Encode Job. How about that? Anything that I can uh, find it pretty easily. Uh, priority is, you see you can actually bump it up to high priority, low priority, or normal. I'll just do normal for this right here and I'll click on create and there it goes. And what's going to do is it'll, if I go back to Azure Media Services, then I come over Transforms and Jobs. And you'll see there's my transform right here. Expand it, and there's my job. It was queued for a second, and then it was processing. And then it takes about a minute and a half for this particular video to uh, to finish doing its encoding, which is um, uh, the there are a couple factors here. One, it's a very small video. It's very short, so it shouldn't take that long. If you have a much longer video, it'll take a lot longer. But also, I've said I want adaptive streaming, so I'm asking it to do more. I'm asking it to encode in a bunch of different formats. So that actually, you know, got one thing that's going to make it a shorter time, another thing that'll make it a longer time. Uh, but any of that, you'll be able to at least see the, the status of it here. It's not yet done. If I click on it, you'll see even more details here. And we can see that, uh, you see it's finished now. So the job is finished. So that didn't take long at all. And now what we have is a transform and a job. Let's go back to the assets tab. And now you'll notice that there are two assets. There's my original one. We call that the input asset, but we also have an output asset here. David video underscore adaptive stream. That was a result of the job that I just ran. If I click on that, You'll see some details here. In fact, there's a link to the storage container here. This is a different storage container than the one containing the input asset. And this container actually contains multiple files. Um, we have here a uh, 
one, two, three, four different MP4 files, and you can tell by the names of these files that they the audio is an AAC format, and the resolution is 1024 by 576 for that one, 320 by 180, 480 by 270, and so on. So there's something about the naming convention that gives you a clue as to what these video files are. They're all the same video. They're one picture of me just saying Azure Media Service is awesome. Um, and then we also have we have a thumbnail here. It just grabs a screenshot. To, so if you wanted to use that in your web page somehow, and then some metadata files here. Um, so JSON and uh, manifest file, ISM, ISMC. If we want to actually look at these files, we can download them. And I have a tool here called the Azure Storage Explorer. I've got a video on that if you want to learn how to use that. But here's that storage account, there's the blob containers, and the one I'm interested in is asset-b4ca, that's the name of the container. So if I go down to that one right here, this has um, all the files that I just showed you here. But I can download all those files, it'll ask me where to store them, I'll put them in a folder called uh, encoded files, select that, It'll start to download them here, and if I look at this folder encoded files right here, they're coming down, and they're all there right now. And in fact, if I wanted to do, uh, let's take a look at the thumbnail is right here. It's just a screenshot from the video, and these are the four W or the four MP4 files. You can see that they're getting progressively larger in size and in resolution. So if we look at the smallest one. It looks kind of grainy right here. If we look at the largest one, it looks a whole lot more sharp in this one here. Let's take a look at some of these metadata files. So if I do this and I say open that folder, encoded files, here then I can start to look at like this JSON file, for example. And this has information about each one of these files, the Kodak, really detailed information about the file. Same thing with these other ones here. They're used by different clients. This is an XML file. This is also an XML file. And um, they, have, they have information about each one of these files. MP, this MP4, this MP4, this MP4, etc. These are the files that are created when you encode them. So in this video I showed you how to encode a video using Azure Media Services. In the next video I'm going to show you how to actually take those encoded videos and share them with the world. This is David. Thank you for watching.